Coming up, we're testing drones. We're crashing drones to test them because we have to. It's our job. Okay, so this week we're 3D printing drone prop guards, and we thought it'd be a really nice way to test out some high strength materials. You guys know there's a lot of different materials out there, so we thought we'd try a few of them and just see how they perform. So here we have ABS, carbon fiber, XT copolyester, and T glaze. They're all different types of material, but they're all high strength materials. We're actually gonna exclude PLA from this because it's pretty brittle. Becky actually tested this one out on her iris, and it didn't hold up so well. Pretty brittle. So we're comparing strength, rigidity, and weight. Weight is pretty much the important factor here considering you get reduced flight time. The goal here is to test how well these filaments perform, so we're pretty much crashing drones. First, let's take a look at Pedro's prop guard design. It started out as a really cool wing type guard that clips onto the arms, but now it's sort of more simple, a lot more easy to install, pretty much optimized for flight time. It's about two millimeters thick, so it's gonna perform pretty well. They just snap onto the motors and they're held in place with a tight tolerance. There's a little chamfer on the edge too, so it's a lot easier to install. The file is up on the Adafruit Learning System, so you can download and modify the design if you want it to fit it to your drone or your project. Let's take a look at the weight of these printed in all four filaments. Out of the bunch, we can see ABS comes in at the lightest. We kind of expected carbon fiber to weigh lighter here. First up, we're testing carbon fiber, which actually prints a lot like PLA, so no heated bed required. You can print with your average extruder temperatures of 220 to 230C. The four prop guards printed in carbon fiber weighs in at just 3.3 grams, which is a bit more than we expected. So these feel a lot stiffer and there's not much flex to these. The tolerances for the clip are actually a little bit more loose than we'd like, so it could probably cause problems when testing. I'm sure a small bump might move these out of place. So for testing, we'll start off by slowly bumping into walls and well, right off the bat, we had a major crash and actually broke one of the prop cards. This one is unfortunately one of the easiest to break. It's shattered into pieces, so it's definitely brittle and feels a lot like PLA. Okay, next up we're switching to T-Glaze, which is a blend of PET. This one does require a heated bed, and it's actually a little bit more difficult to print. There's a little bit of layer adhesion problems, so you'll need to slow down your print speeds so it doesn't warp. Because it kind of did, you can see in the B-roll. The T-Glaze guards weigh in at just 2.9 grams, which is a little bit lighter than carbon fiber. It does have a bit of flex to it, and it actually grips onto the motors better. The first couple of bumps held up pretty good, but we did manage to break a guard. The weak point here is a little bit different, so you can see where it breaks. Next up, it's XT. This one is a lot easier to print since it doesn't require a heated bed, and the extruder temperatures you need a little bit higher, somewhere around 240 to 250C. Very minor warping and layer adhesion problems, so it's actually a lot safer to print at a bit faster rate. For the weight, it does come in at 3.3 grams, which is about the same as carbon fiber. This one also has a little bit of flex to it and it grips pretty good to the motors. We're pretty surprised how well this held up on head-on collisions. There's a bit of flex. I think it really helps the guards to be resistant to shocks and impacts. We kept testing head-on crashes and it didn't break any of the guards, which is pretty amazing. The only thing is that they're a little bit heavier though. Okay, now we're gonna test out ABS, which does require a heated bed. So it takes longer to print because you gotta heat the bed and let it cool down. ABS weighs significantly lighter than the bunch, coming in at just 2.6 grams. It also has nice flex to it and feels a lot softer than the others. Tolerances are really tight, so they're gonna grip onto the motors nicely. On first liftoff, we can really feel the weight difference here. It's a lot lighter. The ABS guards held up during all the bumps and head-on collisions. This stuff is really tough and didn't break. It's a lot lighter, it has that bit of flex, so it's pretty darn strong. It does require a heated bed, so it's a little bit harder to print depending on your setup, but it works really well as prop guards. So there you have it, testing materials based on strength and weight. ABS and XT definitely perform really well. They both are pretty shock resistant and they have that bit of flex to it. When it comes to weight though, ABS does come in lighter. The only tough part about printing with ABS is of course the heated bed. We tried these filaments on this week's project because that's kind of what we had on hand, but you can let us know what type of filament you'd like us to try next. To print all of these prop guards, we use the Orion Delta 3D printer from CME CNC. It's a pretty good high quality Delta bot which has a heated bed so it can print all sorts of different materials like the ones we did today. We have it in the Adafruit shop so you can check that out and you can also check out our video review here if you haven't already. 
So there you have it, crashing drones to test high strength materials. A lot of fun. I hope this helps you guys out if you're thinking about printing your parts in high strength materials. All right, so that's about it for this one. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to fly around the studio and see if we can land on these build plates. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.